So what is glioblastoma? It's, it's, the, it's the most common brain tumor in, in human beings. And uh, it's one of the failures of oncology uh, since we do not know how to treat it. It, it is invariably fatal. Uh, we know it is resistant to radiotherapy and chemotherapy. And because it's extremely hard to remove it all, because the brain is very packed and it's very intricate, uh, controls the body, controls very sophisticated functions in our body, uh, uh, we, we, we use immune therapy because it's very targeted and it uses mechanisms of tumor cell killing uh, that the cells are not necessarily resistant to. Not only us, but several investigators have explored a different way to harness the immune system which consists of taking cells from the patient body, making it in the laboratory cancer specific, and then reinfuse them into the patients. So in the end, you re-engineer the patient's immune system to be more powerful and effective. So in this trial in particular, we take the immune cells from the patient's blood through a simple blood draw. We take them back to the lab in a special facility called the Good Manufacturing Practice Facility and we genetically engineer them, so we give them a recipe to make a specific molecule that we have designed, and this molecule enables the cell to see some of the tumor characters that it would not otherwise see. We test them in the lab extensively, and once this is ready, we infuse them back into the patient's vein. We engineer these cells to express what is called a chimeric antigen receptor, which uh, renders these um, T cells specific for the particular cancer. So first uh, and foremost, it, it, the, the cells were safe. We did not see any life-threatening uh, side effects. So half of these patients that were eligible uh, had some uh, stabilization of the tumor for a long time. Uh, and, and a number of patients made it uh, past almost, uh, almost to the three-year uh, uh, mark. While uh, the results have been encouraging and we are pursuing now additional studies to make them or improve their efficacy in the laboratory. We are very interested to further engineer these cells. Baylor College of Medicine is one of the few academic institutions in the United States who, who has a very large good manufacturing facility where we can actually generate these type of products. and. Uh, that is one of the great strengths you know, of the college, that we also have a dedicated center, the Center for Cell and Gene Therapies, which enables these type of trials.